Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Let's see the next topic that is fragmentation pathways. This topic is very 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 important topic for the fragmentation of different kinds of the organic molecules. If you people are very well if you are um, what should it be here? If you know very well about these pathways, then only you should be able to do the fragmentation process of uh, any kind of the organic molecules. We have only three pathways. These three pathways are very very simple. Let's understand. The first pathway is what? We have a radical cation. Already we know that molecular ion. The molecular ion is a radical cation or not? How it is produced? By the removal of a single electron from the original molecule. That is the what? Radical cation is commonly called as what? Odd electron ion. In case of these odd electron ions, what should we do? We need to do the fragmentation in such a way that we need to create a cation and a radical. In that way, we need to do a fragmentation. The formation of a cation and a radical. We know that cation is what? Even electron 1. Radical is what? Odd electron 1. It means that what? In the fragmentation process, if you have the radical cation, the odd electron ion simply converted into even electron ion plus odd electron ion. Otherwise, we can say the radical cation can be decomposed into a cation and a radical. This is one type of pathway. See the example, it is benzene containing pi bonds subjected to electron impact or bombardment with electron beam. We can produce what? Radical cation commonly called as what? Molecular ion. We have removed one electron from the pi bond. So this is radical cation M by Z is 98. How should we cleave this one? The radical cation into a simple cation and a radical. After the decomposition, what should happen? We need to get a simple cation and the radical. For that purpose, see what we are doing. Here we are doing homolytic cleavage. The homolytic cleavage of this CH bond creating what? C radical and H radical. So H radical will be removed or not? Here we are having one C radical. This radical and this radical. These two can form a pi bond. See this? pi bond and positive charge. So according to first pathway, cation plus radical. Cation is produced and a radical is produced. Okay. See the next example. Here we have a molecule containing the pi bond subjected to ionization. We have created what? Molecular ion. Simply we have removed one electron from this pi bond. Thereby what happens? We have molecular ion. From this particular bond, this is alpha position, this is beta position. At the beta position, what happens? Homolytic cleavage takes place. At the beta position, homolytic cleavage. Homolytic cleavage giving what? R radical or not? So, R radical is removed. Here, carbon gets one radical. This radical and this radical can form a pi bond here. So, CH2 double bond CH, CH2 plus. This is what? M by Z 41. So it is a simple cation and radical. Simple cation and radical. So in this way we need to do the fragmentation. This is the what? First pathway. I think the first pathway is very clear. Right now see the second pathway. In the second pathway what we are observing? Radical cation. In first pathway also same. In first pathway also same radical cation. In second also we are observing the radical cation. Here how we are cleaving? This radical cation is converted into another radical cation plus neutral molecule. In the first case what happens? Simple cation plus radical. Here what should we do? One radical cation plus neutral molecule. That we need to do. See the example. We have an alkyl halide. 
in case of alkyl halides we are having lone pair of electrons so simply we can generate molecular ion by the removal of one lone pair electron that's why we are creating what a molecular ion at x now what we are doing see this one with respect to this bond this is alpha bond this one is beta bond at beta bond homolytic cleavage takes place at beta bond homolytic at this x bond heterolytic cleavage takes place see this one the homolytic cleavage is generating radicals or not h radical and ch radical the heterolytic cleavage creating what we are giving x minus already plus is there plus and minus both will be neutralized then we are getting what x radical or not the x radical and h removed in the form of hx hx is a neutral molecule or not see this one neutral molecule can be removed after that this homolytic cleavage creating a radical at this carbon or not this heterolytic cleavage creating what positive charge on the carbon or not the positive charge and radical see this one positive charge and radical it is a radical cation or not so radical cation so in this way we need to do the fragmentation this is the word second part okay in the first case what happens radical cation into cation plus radical second case radical cation into radical cation plus neutral space see the third one and very 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 important one in the third case what we are observing if you have the cation the cations should be subjected to the fragmentation in such a way that we are going to get another cation and a neutral space another cation and neutral space this is commonly called as even electron rule very very important rule even electron rule the third pathway is commonly called as even electron rule how can we define see this one simple cation is containing even number of electrons or not so here also we are getting simple cations so we will get even number of electron species neutral molecules already we know that all organic molecules are neutral in nature so all are containing what even number of electrons or not so this one is going to have even number of electrons simply the fragmentation of the even electron ion always produces two even electron ions how can we define even electron species should be decomposed into a mixture of even electron species commonly called as even electron rule so simply remember this pathway thereby you need not to remember the statement of your even electron rule simply we have a cation the cation is converted into one more cation and neutral space if you want to define the what we call even electron rule fragmentation of the even electron ion into a mixture of even electron ions see the example r ch2 ch2 plus it is a simple cation or not so in the cation what we are doing we are doing heterolytic cleavage means this carbon will take positive charge this one will take negative charge the <coughs> the positive and negative will neutralize it or not thereby we will get carbene intermediate it is a neutral one but in this case this carbon will take positive charge so even and even see this one tropelium cation in the tropelium cation what is happening two homolytic cleavages so radical 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 these two radicals can form a single bond thereby you will get this piece these two radicals can form a pi bond thereby you will get acetylene so cation and neutral molecule in this case phenyl cation here also similar two homolytic cleavages radical 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 these two radicals can form a single bond so cyclic one these two radicals can form a pi bond and acetylene cation plus neutral so this is the third pathway commonly called as even electron rule
It's very, very important. So each and every aspirant should have the complete knowledge of these three pathways in order to do the fragmentation process of any kind of the organic molecule.